or other stuff like William Birkin I think I used it on him my second time trying to beat him what did I use in the first first time I played like first time I try like fought him when I died two times with unlimited ammo I, I shot him with a grenade launcher with acid shells like a thousand million times like I just continued to shoot him why is there no ammo over here? Ah, oh, that's so stupid. There's ammo. Ugh. Ugh. Anyway. I just kept shooting him with that and then he killed me. And I was like, what? So I think I, I feel like I used the machine gun and just like fucking wailed on him. Was like, <laughs> Nothing useful. Nothing useful. It looks like there's like water and food. It might be old food, but food nonetheless might be nothing in this locker nothing in this locker nothing in this locker nothing in this locker well that's dumb because there's totally something in that locker when Leon cut oh how thoughtful I can't carry them you suck watchman's diary what who watches the watchman I like that movie. Okay. <laughs> August 11th. I finally had the chance to see blue skies for the first time in ages, but it did little to lift my spirits. I was reprimanded by the chief for neglecting my duties while I was up on the clock tower. There's only one thing I still don't understand. The chief seemed to be more concerned about the fact that I was up on the tower rather than I was neglecting my duties. Why was access to the tower prohibited in the first place anyway? Mm-mm. September 5th. I recently talked to the old man who works in the scrapyard out back. His name is Thomas. He is a quiet man, and he really seems to enjoy chess. He even went so far as to design a special key and lock engraved with chess pieces on them for one of the doors in the disposal yard. We made plans to play chess tomorrow night. I can't help but wonder how good he is. One thing that's been bothering me about him is is the way he's always scratching himself. Does he have some sort of skin disease, or is he just rude? September 9th. Thomas was a much better player than I had imagined. I used to think of myself as a fairly decent player, but he did a pretty good job of humbling me. About the only thing I imagine that could have matched his skill in chess is his appetite. All the guy did was talk about food throughout the entire game. He sounded fairly healthy, but he didn't look quite right. I wonder if he's okay. September 12th. I was supposed to play another game of chess with Thomas, but we had to cancel because he hasn't been feeling too well. He stopped by to see me, but I told him to go back and rest since he literally looked like the walking dead. He insisted that he was just fine, but I could tell he was really having problems. Come to think of it, I haven't been feeling pretty feeling too good myself lately. Uh oh! Oh god. His throat and abdomen have been torn out. That is... That's just a shame. I really want those. I want them bad. Where am I? Oh. Oh. Well, I gotta go to the save room anyway. Okay. Um, oh, what am I doing? There we go. Um, okay, what I think I'm going to do is I have to go retrieve stuff from the save room. And I have to come back and get these grenades. So what I will do is I'm going to cut video and I will reconvene when we are back on track. We're going to go to, I'll tell you where we're going, even though it, when you see this, you're going to be like, well, no, we're already there. See that green blinky right there, the green blinky door? We're going there. So, I will see you guys there. Hey, guys. 
I just wanted to come back and show you guys that I'm going to use this cord and show you what it does. It brings the shutters down. Hell yeah. Alright, I'll see you guys in a minute. There are zombies in this hallway. I figured I would come back and fight zombies because we haven't done that yet. Oh. And you're dead. No? I just shot you! With all three is it? Damn! Come on! It's useless, yeah. What are you doing here? like the worst weapon to fight this shit with. <laughs> Look at his face. He's like, Mur! Dumbest thing. The dumbest thing was that. Actually, I take it back. The dumbest thing was when I went to the item box, came back, and realized I didn't get the lotter. Like, <laughs> that was the dumbest thing. Okay. Point of this puzzle light these thingies makes the cog fall out of the picture. Have to light the Queen, King, and Jack. They don't tell you. They give you numbers. If you know if you know cards then you got this shit. However it took me and my friends forever to figure it out. Because we didn't know the numbers. We knew you know Awesome. <laughs> Looks like we could have a press conference here. Attention! Raccoon City! There are zombies! I can't see me. And things that are this! See, in Resident Evil, I learned to ignore, well, with Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3, I learned to ignore when the protagonist that you're playing as looks at something. Because look, there's an item right there. There's an item. She is not looking at it. But I'll be damned if there's a dead body. She will sure enough look right at it. So you have, I mean, you know. That's why I never really noticed that the protagonists look at stuff, you know. I know I noticed it in, I think I noticed it in Silent Hill 3. Fatal Frame, I ignore it hardcore just because it's, Mayu looks at stuff because she's crazy. I'm possessed. Yeah, you are. But you're not possessed, Claire. No, I'm not. I'm ready for action. That's good. Oh! 
I wanted to use the telephones, but remembered I didn't have any pocket change. Yeah, I don't know why I called it pocket change. I usually just call it change. <laughs> but I figured she would call it pocket change. I'm talking bullshit. Let's go. Doodaloo. Oh, I know where we're going. Oh, hey, that's a save room. We can go. <laughs> we don't have to stop in there. <laughs> 